Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. It's Curse Captain here with a complete breakdown of everything that you need to know for the new emissary system in the Sea of Thieves. Before I jump into this guide, though, I want to quickly ask you for your support. My dream is to do this full time, but I cannot do that without you. So if you enjoy this content and find it somewhere in your pirate heart, please consider hitting that subscribe button. As for those who have already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Now, let's jump into today's video. One of the biggest changes to our beloved seas is the introduction of the new emissary system. This system allows you to represent one of the trading companies. You can choose from Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls, Merchant Alliance, Athena's Fortune, or even a brand new PvP focused trading company called the Reaper's Bones. For a complete breakdown on this amazing new PvP faction and how it works, click the link in the description. All right, let's talk emissary. Here's how it works. For each of the trading companies, you are now offered an emissary flag for purchase. After you purchase an emissary flag, you can then decide to represent this company by placing your vote on the new voting tables that are located next to each of the trading companies, including a new Reaper Shrine found at all of the outposts. Once your crew votes to become an emissary, new flags will be attached on the main mast of your ship and on the back of your ship to show your company allegiance. You will also notice an emissary grade. This is shown on your HUD and will be displayed for all to see on the flag at the back of your ship. Each emissary starts at grade one and maxes out at grade five. If you leave the game, change what company you represent, change ships, sink or scuttle, your emissary grade will reset to grade one. While representing your company, certain actions will increase your emissary grade. Things like discovering treasure, bringing it to your ship, taking treasure from others, defeating Meg or Karen, skeleton ships, forts, etc. All of this will increase your emissary grade until you max out at grade five. Each emissary grade acts as a multiplier when turning in treasure to your trading company. If you happen to lose your ship while representing an emissary, your broken flag will float up allowing for others to steal and cash it in. If you're repping Reaper's Bones, you will be highly rewarded for turning these flags in at the Reaper's Hideout. At the end of your session, be sure to vote to take down your flag. You will be rewarded a nice little bonus for turning it in, depending on your final emissary grade. So don't leave the game with the flag on your ship as it will be left behind for some other scurvy dog to turn it in. Now reaching emissary grade 5 for Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls, Merchant Alliance, or Athena's Fortune, you will unlock a special grade 5 exclusive repeatable yeah, I said repeatable high reward voyage, which means getting to emissary grade five should be the goal of your crew as long as you don't sink. You can keep doing those high reward voyages. As for Reaper's Bones, when they reach grade five, they will unlock the ability to spot any emissary ship, no matter their grade on their own ship's map, which is going to be awesome being an emissary will be a high risk high reward scenario which is going to add a whole new level of excitement to our adventures you will be able to see how many crews on the server have chosen to become an emissary by checking the voting tables at an outpost however if you choose to represent the reaper's bones your ship and your emissary grade will appear on the map for all to see much like the current reaper's flag in addition to the emissary system each of the trading companies have expanded their levels. Gold Hoarders, Order of Souls, and Merchant Alliance have increased to 75, and Athena's Fortune has increased to rank 20. With these new levels comes new promotions and rewards. New titles and combinations will be added. Pirates who rank up can now earn access to a really cool company costume to show your allegiance. As for Athena's Fortune, players can now earn access to some beautiful looking ghost equipment and weapons along with a company costume. And if all of that wasn't enough, there is now an emissary ledger, which is essentially a global leaderboard that will track all the rewards you have cashed in for an emissary so you can show off your skills on a global scale. Each ledger will refresh on a monthly basis and progressing through the company tiers will earn you exclusive cosmetics. With all these commendations, there's also new Xbox achievements that can be unlocked by progressing through the new company's promotions representing as an emissary. Here's what they are. Golden Ticket, Ships of Souls, Trade Ambassador for Athena, The Reaping Begins, So Many Chests, Talking Heads, Deliverance, legend wait for it dairy and you reap what you see 
from the patch notes for this update, it looks like these achievements will not be time limited. This new system is going to change the game forever in so many positive ways. It will encourage pirates to stay on the same server and give us PVP focused pirates more to chase on the seas. What are you most looking forward to in this update? Make sure to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget, shoot first and ask questions later. Cheers.